Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and today we will be making a vacuum gun. For this project, you will need a big 2 ounce syringe, small one might work too, some vacuum hosing, a lighter, a balloon, scissors, tape, airsoft BBs, a hot glue gun, and a little nozzle from the top of an air horn. First, we will be making the main body of the gun using our syringe, tubing, and nozzle. So this depends on the layout you want, but the first step is to put one end of the tubing on the end of the syringe. You want a nice tight seal, and then you could bring the tubing back like this. I'm going to bring it around in a loop configuration, so first measure it up. I'm going to want to cut mine around there for the nozzle. Take your scissors, give her a cut, and then using the lighter this is optional depending on how big your nozzle is but as you can see mine's too small just quickly take the lighter heat up the plastic just ever so slightly so that you can take the nozzle and compress it on the end just like that now to make the film to go on the end of the nozzle take your balloon cut it around halfway up the ball part get some nice sharp scissors so you get as straight as a cut as possible then throw out the bottom half so you're left with a little balloon hat then stretch the balloon hat as tight as you can just like that so it looks like a little plunger almost make sure all of the slack is out of it then take your tape and wrap it around so as you can see I have taped the balloon on the end. It's important to also tape it on while the plunger is in the forward position. And now I'll give you a demonstration of how the weapon works. By moving the plunger to the back position, you can see it creates a suction and sucks in the end of the balloon just like that. Then when it is released, it pops up like a trampoline and pushes the BB forwards. Lastly, I'm going to use my glue gun and attach it as you see here. Alright, so there's the final product. As you can see, I have added a few more things just for aesthetics because I thought it looked kind of boring for the camera. Basically, I just attached him on there. As you can see, the vacuum still works great. I attached a laser pointer to help with some aiming potentially and just because it looks cool. Then I added these little grips on the bottom which actually makes it a little more comfy to hold. So now let's go ahead and get to some shooting tests. Alright, so the BB's loaded in. Let's go ahead and pull the plunger all the way back. Firing at the paper in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so here we go. I've got a BB loaded in. I'm going to pull back the plunger, point at the paper, fire in 3, 2, 1. So that one hit it. And just a little side note, it basically the power level depends on the um, balloon configuration because I did this before filming and it worked like almost as hard as any of my other guns I've ever made. It was super powerful. Then of course I took it apart to show you guys how to build it and after I put it back together this one's not even close to as powerful. But I don't want to delete the video so I'll do one more shooting test for you guys see if it gets any more powerful. And uh, if not, just try it out yourself, and I'm sure you'll be surprised at how powerful it can be. Here we go with the second test. Pull the plunger all the way back. I'm going to aim it down here. And firing in 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Last shooting test. I'm going to go ahead and load in the BB right about there. Pull it back. Aim it at the paper and fire in three, two, one. So unfortunately I can't get to res replicate the results I got the very first time around, but I hope the shooting test gave you guys a slight idea that the principle does work and with the proper balloon or um, syringe size you can get it to work very powerful so please trust me on that. Uh, the shooting test wasn't bad, it was hard to film sometimes. Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed the project. Just to give you guys an idea of some more projects I have planned, um, 
kind of complete opposites, but I have a flamethrower video planned, an actual big one, and I have a freeze gun video planned. So please stay tuned and subscribe for those. But here's today's project. I hope you guys enjoyed the simple project. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.